when your Fire TV Cube won't power on or shows a no signal message, these troubleshooting steps will help you identify and fix the most common issues. First, let's address power problems. The most critical step is using the original power adapter and cable that came with your Fire TV Cube. Always use the original Amazon power adapter and cable. If you need a replacement, use only Amazon branded accessories to ensure compatibility. Plug the device directly into a wall outlet rather than a power strip to avoid power delivery issues. HDMI connection problems are equally common. Start by checking that your HDMI cable is securely connected to both the Fire TV Cube and your television. Verify that your TV is set to the correct HDMI input channel. Try connecting to a different HDMI port on your TV. For 4K content, ensure you're using a high-speed HDMI cable that supports the bandwidth requirements. Make sure your TV is set to the correct HDMI input where your Fire TV Cube is connected. Use your TV remote to cycle through the available inputs or access the input menu directly. Check your HDMI CEC settings, also called equipment control. This feature allows your Fire TV Cube to automatically switch your TV to the correct input and can enable your TV remote to control the Fire TV. Also verify that your TV supports HDCP compliance for protected content. These troubleshooting steps resolve the majority of power and HDMI issues with the Fire TV Cube. Start with the power adapter and work through each connection systematically for the best results. When basic troubleshooting doesn't resolve your Fire TV Cube issues, resetting the device is your next step. There are two types of resets, soft reset and factory reset. A soft reset is the gentler option that doesn't erase your settings. You can unplug the power adapter for 10 seconds or press and hold the action button on either the device or remote for 10 seconds. For persistent issues like reboot loops, you may need a factory reset. Important warning, this will erase all your personal settings and data, so use it only as a last resort. The first method uses the settings menu. Navigate to home, then settings, then my Fire TV, and finally reset to factory defaults and select reset. The second method uses the remote. Hold down the volume down and mute buttons simultaneously for about 40 seconds until the light flashes blue. These are the volume down and mute buttons you need to press. Remember to hold them for the full 40 seconds. Remember, try a soft reset first for minor issues and only use factory reset for persistent problems when other troubleshooting has failed.